this is Emma's Place UK, my name is Emma and welcome and today's video is a Primark try on and haul. I was very lucky this year to receive some Primark vouchers from my brother and from my in-laws and in total had £70 worth of vouchers to spend. Now if you're anything like me it's very easy, I find it very easy anyway, to spend £70 in Primark and that is exactly what I have done today. Um, I went to Primark looking for some specific things. One was uh, something that potentially I could wear for an interview, another was bedding, maybe pick up some things that I may not necessarily buy for myself but I was absolutely determined to come away with clothing. That didn't quite work out. <laughs> I did film a little bit of a try on in the changing room, so this is how I got on with Primark's clothes. Uh, so this is outfit number one. Uh, this is a bodysuit in a large, I think, which is a 14 slash 16 in their new and improved sizings. And these trousers are just the cheap trousers in a size 18. And as you can see, they are not very cesarean belly friendly. So they fit. I've also picked these up in a 16, but obviously they're not gonna fit um yeah I don't like it it's not flattering to me at all so the next thing is these trousers which clearly don't fit uh, they're a size 16 um so I mean even the 18s probably would have been a bit tight but they're a nice color and I like the wide leg so I think the wide leg is the way to go for me I might go somewhere else and look for some wide leg trousers in a black but yeah these are just not gonna cut it. I just, I'm struggling. Primark, just don't cover my tummy. Okay, so the next thing to show you is these, uh, just some jogging bottoms. They're green with a white and orange stripe up the side. As you can see, I mean, showing off all my tummy and everything. These are the large, which I think is a 14 to 16, and they fit. I can get them on, they're tight. I have got them in the bigger size as well, but I think they're gonna be too big. These are just for working out in, so they don't have to be great looking they just have to fit and hopefully you know if i do lose some weight these will just get better and better fitting plus they're on sale they've got a little mickey on lot and uh, they're on sale for three pounds so for three pounds for a pair of jogging bottoms to work out in or to lounge around the house in no one's going to see me in them i quite like those so i might take these home i'm going to briefly quickly try the next size up on just in case though <laughs> We'll see, I'll show you them. So this is the next, the other pair, this is the larger pair. These are the extra large, these are the 18 to 20 size. And they do look like they fit me better. They're nowhere near as tight, but they do feel like they're gonna, like I've had to tie this real tight and they're gonna fall down. So as soon as I lose any weight, they're gonna get immediately too big for me. So I think I'm gonna go with the smaller ones and try to slim into them a little bit. So this is so bad, I didn't even come out of the cubicle for it. This is so bad. Uh, I'm going to have to leave my hands here because otherwise I will show you a lot of stuff. But look, oh, this is totally out of my comfort zone. But I just desperately wanted to try a jumpsuit on. This is a size 16 and it is mega tight. Mega tight. Oh, I kind of like the silhouette though, despite my tummy. And the last thing that I'm trying on today is this black jumpsuit. It's got a lot of stretch to it. Uh, this is the size 16 and actually fits uh, amazingly. Got it on quite easy, no problem, but it's so thin, look. You can see all your nicker lines, look, dreaded tummy. <sighs> I just think anything that's not strong enough to hold my tummy in is just not worth bothering with, to be honest. So, not a very successful try on. So we're done and this is the reject pile and this is the keep pile one thing so as you can see it wasn't massively successful uh, i think i have now determined wholeheartedly determined that primark sizing just isn't for me they just don't make clothes for somebody with my body shape and my body size i am too small for their extra large which is um 18 to 20 but i am too 
big for their large range which is 14 to 16. Their t-shirts tend to be too short in the body, their trousers seem to be a little bit short in the leg for me. Uh, nothing is really very supportive, like the, the materials don't really support my stomach. Um, so without having to wear supportive wear underneath, I just can't wear any of Primark's clothes. So after that little try on, I decided to just go and hunt for all the little bits and pieces that we need um, and any little bits and pieces that I may normally pick up and then put back because, you know, I don't want to spend that much on that thing. But, you know, I figured it was a voucher, it was for Christmas, I'm going to use it for whatever I want. Um, and I did come home, I've got a little bit of change left, I think I've got £2.90 left on my Primark gift card, £2.90, uh, so that will get used the next time I go, but yeah, so I bought a few different things, which I'm going to share with you now. Um, so we'll start off with random stuff. I always buy wrapping paper when I go to Primark. I've talked about it in some of my previous hauls, so I picked up a little bit more wrapping paper. We don't have any for birthdays. So I got some cool kiddies um, birthday wrapping paper, you know, with the words party, fun, cool. It's all nice and bright colours. And then I also picked up some Disney Mickey Mouse ears, and then it's got pink and marble in the background as well. So I figured they would do for any sort of birthdays that I've got coming up this year. Next little section is sort of beauty and body products. One of the things that I do use from Primark quite a lot from their makeup section is their loose mineral powder. Uh, it's two pounds and I always buy it in porcelain. I also bought um, another hair towel because when I'm washing and drying my thick long hair um, I kind of need one of these to wrap it up with. Uh, this was oh, their £1.50 bought some more face wipes. I am determined to go through every single type of face wipe that they do because they do loads and I'm going to see which one I like the best. It's a pound for two packs and each pack has 25 wipes in so I'll get like a, almost a month out of each of them and um, this is the Pollution Protect one so we'll give those a go. I picked up Elliot some more toothbrushes because I'm constantly changing his toothbrushes. I'm desperately trying to look after his teeth properly and make sure that they don't hurt him so as not to put him off brushing his teeth. Last in this section, I bought this, it's a new hairbrush. I don't really need a new hairbrush. And you know, if it was my money, like I know it's my money because it's my vouchers, but like if I was buying this myself, still doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. Um, I wouldn't pay four pounds for a hairbrush. I would just buy one of their cheaper ones, but I quite like the look of this. And it says, it says fast dry. So it dries hair quicker, up to 50% more airflow. And what it is, is it's see-through. Oh look, you can see it better against my arm. Look, um, the white of my top. Uh, yeah, you can see, look, it's see-through there. So I'm assuming that means that I'll be able to put the hair dryer at the back of it, the front of it, the air will go through. I'm going to see if it'll dry my hair any quicker because anything that makes dry my hair quicker is better. I did pick up Elliot a couple of bits and pieces. We are doing potty training right now. Uh, so he is going through underwear uh, like nobody's business. So I just bought him a couple of packs of briefs. Um, I've tried really hard to not buy any stripe striped knit pants because he um for some reason doesn't like stripy pants and also because of the potty training we are also going through lots and lots of clothes at the minute so uh, another pair of jogging bottoms just to add to his massive collection uh these were three pounds these are just the real sort of uh, cheap jogging bottoms but they wash really well they're great particularly for potty training and he doesn't have any in this light grey colour so so the next sort of section is clothes for me. So I did pick up a couple of pieces. I say a couple of pieces, they're not that exciting. You saw in the haul these uh, jogging bottoms. So there's a little close up look of Mickey. They're green with um, an orange and white stripe down the side. They were in the sale, they were only three pounds. They were reduced from eight pounds down to three. And then because you need a top to work out in as well, I did decide to buy myself um, a, a t-shirt. Now, none of the women's t-shirts fit my body proportions, but the men's do. So I found 
a Goonies t-shirt. It's purple and you can see there you've got the um, the outline of all of the characters from the Goonies and it's got all of the names across the bottom. Why is it the men's t-shirts are always so much better than the women's? The, the women's, there's no Goonies t-shirts in the women's section. I also bought some undies, but I bought posher undies than normal. Now in Primark I would normally buy the multi-packs of briefs. Um, I can never quite figure out what style or size to pick up or which ones that I like but this time I went for the undies on the hangers oh posh posh look it's just black underwear uh, but these are three pairs for five pounds and I've risked them in a large they are the um trouser brief shape I also bought some firm control waist shaper briefs in black as well those things they pull you in <laughs> And then to finish that off, I also bought myself some cute socks. So, I almost always have to buy Harry Potter socks. I've never seen the Harry Potter socks with the ties on. That's so cool. So, I absolutely, I love those socks. They're great. Uh, and I also bought another pack of socks, which is just super duper cute. And I mainly bought them because one of them has a sloth on. And the sloth is my spirit animal. So, um, yeah, if I uh, have to come choose an animal to come back as I would come back as a sloth I love them but you also get a llama and you also get pandas but how cute are those so three pairs for three pounds so yeah posh socks the next section which is bedding is the section that I am most proud of because they are all reduced look at this a grumpy when tired uh, bedding set that's got grumpy on from um the seven dwarves they're so cute and look at the price it was uh, 15 reduced down to seven so it's better than half off and I also picked up this single duvet set for Elliot as well and it's just covered with loads of dogs look and it says on the pillow dogs rule it was nine pounds reduced down to five I also picked up a couple of duvet covers for myself and Luke's bed because we're just desperately in need we have two covers at the minute that I interchange between when one's in the wash one's on the bed and vice versa but they're getting a bit dingy now they're getting a bit used they're getting a bit thin so it's time to get some new ones um, and I was really pleased that I found some king size duvet covers for £5. So uh, this one was reduced from 13 down to 5 It's just a light blue on one side and a dark blue on the other. It will not match our bedroom, but I don't care. We don't really care about that. And the other duvet set that I picked us up was £19 reduced down to 5 uh, And it's this one. It's got tigers on it. That's pretty cool. That that would kind of go in our room, but yeah, no, no, actually, no, it won't. It won't go in our room at all. Neither of them will match the colours in my bedroom, but I don't care. I would rather pay £5 for a duvet cover that doesn't match than £25 for a duvet cover that does. So, my bargain. So those are my bargains of the day. So that's it. That is my Primark haul. That is everything I bought from Primark. Um, some bargains in there. And just some everyday items, you know, nothing special. But after my disaster with the clothes and trying the clothes on, I've decided that Primark is going to be my go-to place for bits and pieces and, and, and bedding and shoes and socks and underwear and stuff for Elliot. But it's not going to be my go-to place for clothes for me. So um, I love you, Primark. You will always have a special place in my heart. But unfortunately, your clothes are just not for me. Hope you enjoyed my showing you what I bought. So that's the end of my very first Primark haul of 2019. I am sure there will be many, many more throughout the year. Um, and hopefully you will be back to join me then. Uh, until next time, I will see you in my next weekly weight loss journal video. Hopefully you will join me there. I will see you then. Goodbye. Uh -huh.